Now, we know football fans can be really rough, but Baltimore Ravens fans, Ravens fans are brutal. When they're frustrated with somebody, they do not hold back for nothing. And with Rashad Bateman right now, Ravens fans, a lot of them, not all of them, they have had this built-up frustration because there, a lot of them feel like the Rashad Bateman hasn't been sort of living up to his status as a first-round draft pick. He hasn't been living up to his status as the next thing for the Baltimore Ravens at wide receiver thus far. And we know that injuries sort of have derailed a lot of that and taken a lot of time away from Rashad Bateman but uh two weeks ago there was a lot of conversation amongst some Ravens fans about the possibility of trading one Rashad Bateman and I refuted that I said no 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 you don't need to trade you don't want to trade Rashad Bateman why would you do that why would you try to weaken the Ravens wide receiver core but the game this past Sunday against the Steelers oof that that really didn't help uh that argument that much uh because Rashad Bateman along with the other receivers too because they flowers he had a rough game as well and so did Nelson Aguilar but uh, a lot of the focus was put on Rashad Bateman because he he dropped the touchdown pass and Mark Andrews too he dropped a couple of passes as well so everybody contributed but Rashad Bateman has been the one that a lot of Ravens fans have been focusing on because, again, like I said, it's been a, a built-up thing. It's been an ongoing thing with a lot, not all, but a lot of Ravens fans when it comes to Rashad Bateman. Um, and Ravens fans won't let him catch a break because – they over there in London right now. They enjoying themselves. They're actually getting ready to go practice today. Uh, actually, when I'm recording this, they should start practicing in exactly one minute because it's 8.44 a.m. Uh, so they're going to be practicing in one minute. Uh, but with Rashad Bateman, he put up a picture of himself just going shopping, just going shopping, doing a little retail therapy, and Ravens fans were getting on him bad. They were letting him have it like, oh, you don't need to be going shopping. You need to be working on your hands, man. And it's like, man, like with football players and fans, I know a lot of fans can put these football players in a box because fans, they're fans of their favorite football team. And when they see these players, they expect these players to be on the field and whatnot, performing for their favorite football team. But when they put them in their box, uh, what they can do, they, they make it like, all right, this player, they need to be focused on football 24-7, and that's all they need to be doing. If they see their favorite player playing a video game, they're like, oh, no, he's not focused. If they see their favorite player going shopping and if they see their favorite player just having some fun, a lot of them can be like, oh, no, he's distracted. He's not going to be good this Sunday. He needs to get back on the field, watch some film. He needs to be in, in practice. He needs to be doing all that. Stuff. And it's like, whoa, 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 hold up now. These football players, they, they got lives too. They got lives outside of their job as well. So even though Rashad Bateman and company, they had a really rough game on Sunday, that does not stop their lives. It's not like, all right, since they had a bad game on Sunday, they need to eat, breathe, sleep, football 24-7. And that's the only thing that they can do. If they have any type of fun outside of that whatsoever, then they're doing it the wrong way. No, it, it shouldn't be like that at all. And like with Rashad, baby, I, I feel for him because and he felt for himself because we remember the other day, like right after the game for for a little bit, he had even deactivated his Twitter account because he knew how, how it was going to be. He, he just knew. And Rashad Bateman is obviously somebody who's very active on Twitter because if he wasn't active on Twitter like that, then he would not have deactivated. But he is somebody who's on social media a lot, posting stories, posting tweets and all that. So he closed his thing right away. He said, oh, no, I, I ain't trying to take this. And initially, he even, because he was feeling real bad, he initially even declined to talk to reporters for a little while. Uh, but then he did speak with Jameson Hensley and said, you can put this game on me. And then he obviously wants to have a bounce back game, which we hope he definitely does uh, this Sunday in London. But we got to I, I think we have to as fans just be better. And of course, yeah, we want Rashad Bateman to be the best possible wide receiver that he can be. Uh, but when fans get frustrated, I think we just got to tone it down a bit. Let, 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 know that the players, they still have lives. Like, try to put yourselves, this is my biggest thing, my biggest thing with just anything. Try to put yourselves in their shoes. And, I mean, I, I don't know what it's like to be on that level because, like we always talk about with football players, their job their, their livelihoods, their careers are on public display 24-7. We know how much they make. We know their job performances. We know their job statistics. We know get all the analytics and all that. Uh, we see if they have a great day at work. We see if they have a terrible day at work. Uh, we see that, that that's on display 24-7. We get informed if they lose their job. We get informed if they could be losing their job. We get informed if they get a new job. We, we learn about everything that there is to learn about with these football players jobs but try to put yourself in their shoes if you, you you were on public display and you had a really really rough day at work 
How would that make you feel? And then you got all these thousands and thousands and thousands of people coming at you saying this, that, and a third about you and whatnot. And I know it's going to be some people. I, I already know it's going to be somebody in the comments. Saying, well, you shouldn't have signed up to be a football player then, buddy. I already know it's going to be somebody who says that. But even though, yeah, they signed up to be football players, you signed up to be a human and you're here. So it's okay to treat somebody with respect and still treat somebody with dignity. Even though they had a rough day at the office. Like imagine if you had a rough day at the office and people just going at you constantly. Thousands of people going at you. Oh man, you suck. You this, you that. And the third. How, how would that make you feel? See, that's why it's so important to try to put yourself in their shoes. Again, whether you're frustrated with them or not. Just think about what they could be going through. And, and you don't want to. And hey, Rashad Bateman deleting his Twitter temporarily. Because I think he put it back like the same day. Uh, but he was doing that, I'm sure, for his own mental. Because just seeing a lot of negative stuff over and over and over, that can mess with your mental big time. So I'm glad that he deactivated his Twitter for however long he did. Um, but it seemed like he, he's back now and he's in a better mental state. And hey, <laughs> Rashad Bateman, he probably looked at his bank account and said, oh, God, I'm good. I'm straight. Uh, but hey, Rashad Bateman, the better you do, the, the better, the even more straight your bank account will be. Because when you get that second and third contract in the future from whichever team, whether it's the Baltimore Ravens or not, man, yet that bank account, that money will increase. So go do your thing. We, we all are hoping for not just a bounce back game from Rashad Bateman, but what I'm hoping for with Rashad Bateman is just a, a bounce back big time. Because we've seen the flashes in previous games before. We've seen the potential in previous games before, but it's just a matter of putting it all together consistently. We know injuries have derailed a lot of what Rashad Bateman can do in this league. That's That's been the biggest thing because it's, it's there, but again, we just got to see it. We just want to see it consistently. Uh, so hopefully Rashad Bateman, this can be the game where they bounce back uh, they can leave all their troubles and all the, 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 the drops and all that. And not just Rashad Bateman, but everybody. They can leave all that bad stuff back in the States. And when they get back to the States, don't pick it up. Leave it in Pittsburgh. Don't bring it back to Baltimore. Don't bring it back anywhere that you're going to be playing. Leave that in Pittsburgh and never go back there again. But hopefully they can all uh, have a bounce back game. And specifically with Rashad Bateman, hopefully he can just really turn that corner hopefully we can just really see why the Baltimore Ravens drafted him in the first round uh, a couple years back and he can really start to to show out because if he can do that because again he, he he got it all he got the hands are there again this, this is a rough game a rough game for him the hands are there the route running is there the speed is there he got a good side he, he, he got it it's there but it's important that the Ravens, Rashad Bateman, they, they reach down inside of them and they get it out. Because potential is cool. Potential is great. And talking about potential, yeah, it's fun thinking about the what ifs and what could be's. But we all want to see. And I, and I know including Rashad Bateman himself, he don't want to just be about potential. He want to be about what he and what it actually is.